Scott Grody playing Mr. Ziffo, the pig farmer. Hello there, neighbor. Got any good champagne? As a matter of fact, we are talking about champagne today. Yes, I have French champagne. No, no, no. Our pig won't drink French champagne. Your pig? That's ridiculous. Well, maybe he's a snob when it comes to champagne, but he only drinks something more poofier, like New York champagne. There's no such thing as poofier champagne. Well, if you like French champagne, then maybe you convinced me. So you want a bottle of French champagne? I don't know. Now I'm not sure. I think I want New York. That's it. Hello there, neighbor. You got any French champagne? As a matter of fact, we're talking about champagne today. And yes, I have French champagne. No, no, no. Our pig won't drink French champagne. Your pig? That's ridiculous. Maybe he's a snob when it comes to champagne. But he only drinks something more poofier like New York champagne. Sir, there's no such thing as poofier champagne. Well, if you like French champagne, you convince me. So you'd like a bottle of French champagne? No. <laughs> no, I'm sure I want New York. Hello, sir. I see you're selling champagne here today. Ain't that right? Uh, no, no, no. We're discussing champagne. Oh, you were discussing it, but you weren't uh, drinking it. That's right. Well, you're so lucky that I stopped by. I'm happy to have some genuine Napoleon Barnard Crystal champagne glasses. Yes. I hate to part with them because they are over 500 years old. Yeah, Napoleon lived 200 years ago, not 500 years ago. See, they were Napoleon's family, even before he was born. Dom Perignon only lived 300 years ago, and crystal glasses were invented at around the same time. So, they don't have champagne or crystal that's 500 years old. Well, leave it to those princes to be ahead of their time. Yes, I, I, I don't want to, uh, to, uh, I don't want your champagne glasses. Would you be interested in a genuine automatic electronic champagne cork removing device? It will even connect to your car's battery. If you had a little romantic ride in the country with the lady and get stuck in the woods, you can my grip. Yeah, I, no thank you. I don't think I want your automatic cork removing uh, device. Well, in that case, I have nothing to tell you. But removing the cork is very dangerous. Operation. Somebody could have their eye pulled out. So you will need this eye protection insurance policy with you put someone's eye out. Because you open a bottle of champagne without my genuine electric cork removing device? Well, I don't think I need cork removing eye insurance either. Well, you are a hostess head, and you're opening yourself for a liability. I think I just heard someone get their eye pulled out by a champagne cork. I gotta go. But I'll leave this insurance policy. You can sign it and pick it up tomorrow. Right, goodbye.